कुछ समय पहले ही अनघा ने टीवी इंडस्ट्री को छोड़ने की घोषणा करके अपने लाखों फैंस का दिल तोड़ दिया था अनघा ने टीवी को छोड़ दिया है और खुद को आध्यात्मिक कर लिया है वह अब कृष्ण की भक्त बन गई है और उन्होंने खुद को भगवान की सेवा में लगा दिया है नमस्कार मित्रों कैसे है आप सब तो स्वागत करता हूँ आपके अपने चैनल आपकी एक बात में मित्रों सबसे पहले मैं आप सभी का आभार प्रकट करना चाहता हूं कि आप हमारे चैनल को बहुत पसंद कर रहे हैं और विशेष रूप से आपने हमारे पिछले वीडियो जो अंधा भोसले के जीवन पर आधारित था उसको आपका भरपूर समर्थन मिला है इससे उत्साहित होकर हम आपके लिए अंधा भोसले की प्रवचन सभा के वीडियो की एक नई सीरीज लेकर आए है तो आइए शुरू करते हैं he will make sure that next birth you get is in a devotee house and you can continue it from very beginning very start and finish the journeys as soon as quickly possible because a mother is always waiting for a child to come home very soon right bachcha subah jata hai kaam ke liye mom is always waiting in the evening when they return back and they come and i can feed them and i can play with them That's how Krishna and Radharani is, and we should take their shelter, make this human body uh, take advantage of this, and connect to God. That's why it's very important that you all understand this and um, give it to the next generations. Give these values and keep it continuing to the next generations, because. Being a devotee, I had thought, you know, if everything is Krishna, I should also be uh, Brahmachari. That thought occurs. <laughs> But, you know, I heard Prabhupada's lecture when he says that all men should get married and women should be, sorry, opposite. All men should be Brahmacharis and women should get married. Correct. So that hit me very hard because the like a lady can give. the sanskaras and create a new life and may she be a source of you know what you say a source of making that soul complete his journey his spiritual journey so of course you can do that that's the biggest blessing we get is to nourish our children and uh, give them this divine divine uh, blessing and mercy and nectar of devotion which we get from our gurus and our parents and shri la prabhupad that's all we can do is chant hari krishna maha mantra and uh, you know uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu's mission was to give hari naam to every soul possible that's how we can do little or try to just be a part or speck of their mission and try to serve our gurus and this was it i would want to interact with you all more if you all ask me questions and you know i would love to answer so anyone has questions hari krishna hari krishna Actually, I'm so ex- I was so excited to meet you. Everyone here will be excited to meet you. And means my question, बहुत सारे questions थे कि जब मैं उनसे मिलूंगी तो मैं ये पूछूंगी. So I have I have three questions. Uh, that आपको कैसे पता चला कि मतलब ये right time है कि you should leave the industry and come to the Krishna consciousness. See, there is never a right time, you know. I remember first show I did. Uh, after that first show, I wanted to leave. I had decided I was a devotee since eight or nine years old, and uh, I w- I never wanted to. I always did roles which are positive and which are traditional. I wanted to leave before my marriage, and um, after my first show, I thought to leave completely, and it was locked down that time. So I got more connected, and I was doing my 16 rounds that time. I was doing everything. I was reading Gita. and after that suddenly this opportunity came and in that thing you think that there is so much of uncertainty my other colleagues were not getting work and suddenly you get this opportunity 
So you thought of why not to give it a try, correct? I gave it a try and Krishna being testing you, he just gave it that opportunity to me. I was like, okay, I will do it. And that one year, I realized that, you know, what I was born for, I never got connected. You know, I'm getting away and away and away and away, and away every single moment. And it is, it, you should do your karmas, but not where it's completely opposite from your thinking or what you've believed in since very young age. Correct. It's not, you know, just leave things or situations or people where they are contaminating your Krishna consciousness. You remember, we talked about our spirit, like uh, super power, that is our super power, right? If now someone is taking our super power away from us, we don't want to be there. So I realized after my sh second show, I, I should just, you know, avoid it. I, and it's always like Krishna is here and Maya Devi is here. Maya's meaning is what? Which is not. Something which is not. Maya is full of illusion. She will, mm, she will be like very tempting. But no, Maya is this side, Krishna is this side. Maya is darkness and Krishna is light. The moment you start feeding your Krishna consciousness, Krishna starts getting brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and Maya is like she dulls out, she fades. But you start feeding Maya, she becomes darker and darker and darker and darker and that light of Krishna fades and the room becomes darker. So when you realize that I don't want, you know, I want my Krishna's shelter, I don't want where I want, I'm getting away from him. I don't want to feed Maya anymore. I just want your lotus feet, Krishna. You stop testing me this time. I'm not going to, I'm going to pass your test. That happened and I realized I wanted to leave. And I tried as much in the industry also to always speak about Krishna and always tell them that uh, I'm a devotee since young age. I tried, but it, it was not always full, to the full extent I couldn't express my feelings. So after that also I had an opportunity for a big, like a lead opportunity for a double of normal coins, not the bhakti coins, normal coins. But I, you know, double, I was getting the double amount which I was getting in my last show. But this time I was, I took the decision very, very wisely because when I was doing my second show, uh, a Brahma, senior Brahmacharya, of, a disciple of uh, Gopal Krishna Goswami Maharaj had come at my place. And he was like, you always do have a choice, Anaga. And that one sentence just kept in my head that I always do have a choice. And this time I'm going to choose my bhakti coins, my Krishna over the material thing. I'm not saying anyone should leave uh, their work or their occupation be there, serve, but in Krishna consciousness. This was a very, this opportunity which I had got, I could have stayed there and served, but it's not easy to stay in a world completely opposite. There is a lot of hypocrisy there, a lot of, um, you know, we are, as a Vaishnavas, we want to push each other up, we want to help each other up, we don't want to pull each other down, correct? Out there, the world is all about pulling each other and getting envious about someone's growth. I didn't feel comfortable because I was not raised in that situation. And I decided to go for my bhakti coins which eventually will be collected by the Lord during the end of this birth. So I decided not to go ahead and that was the realization I got that this time I'm not going to choose Maya over Krishna. See the Maya or Krishna, you have a choice. That realization made me so much happy, I can't tell you. I'm so much happy at Govardhan Eco Village and uh, serving my Gurudev out there. It's amazing. I'm doing my services there, but in a better place where I'm getting devotee association, where I could share my journey and my experience by all like to all of you and if and if one of you start your journey today will make my life this was successful 
even if one of you takes krishna consciousness very very seriously very very seriously that will be means so much to prabhupad my gurudev me everyone you know and i request all of you all to just think over this very seriously and today we are talking about the importance of spirituality so it's very very important that we take it seriously we don't want to get into the vicious cycle of birth and death and misery correct we want happiness if you want happiness think about it very seriously have i answered your question thank you yes mata ji and uh, why did you choose uh, govardhan uh, eco village only why did uh, <laughs> any other place to practice here uh, i didn't choose that's a wrong thing we never choose who's the doer here is krishna <laughs> krishna chooses you and he chose me to serve him and i am grateful to him grateful to krishna radharani and my gurudev that is also a story after i left i went back to my hometown which is pune and i was very low because i was not getting devotee association and not many devotee friends were there i prayed to krishna and he answers your prayers huh? so be very careful what you ask for <laughs> and uh, he answered my prayer and suddenly my father tells me that guru maharaj uh, his holiness radhanath swami maharaj is coming to india after 2 years and i was like no i want to meet maharaj i never met my gurudev before this time i used to uh, listen to his lectures and i used to always have a soft and always be inclined towards him since a young age and i got very happy because i wanted to share everything i was feeling you know what i decisions i took or what i thought about and that was it i traveled from mumbai to pune that was the first time i traveled and I mean, al- alone i was traveling and i went to gopinath i remember that was gudi padwa that day and radharani and gopinath were in such beautiful you know sari and uh, very emotional moment and i asked ki how can i may, uh, meet gurudev you know guru maharaj and they like he just left for wada and i was like oh okay then mujhe laga ki mujhe bhi wada jana chahiye and i should also you know go and my father is like it's too late today you go in the morning so mo- morning i did my mangala aarti my program in my house and then i left for wada wada that day he was giving a lecture in yoga shala and i remember i went there and he was sitting there it was the first time i met my guru maharaj it was so divine it was a so divine connection it was very emotional also and uh, what he said in that lecture is prabhupad had met his gurudev this year for the first time 100 years ago you know and that was the same year same day i guess and uh, that made me have chills on my body and it was so so divine that uh, association of gurudev and later on what happened that i met gurudev he we spoke and he's like i wanted to speak about everything then that was a different journey but then i met uh, gorang prabhu ji his grace gorang prabhu ji and i shared everything to him and he was excited how we can serve and we can make use of those you know after my show the show was so popular that every character got a lot of love and affection and my only thing was i was away from social media that time i was not even posting anything my only thing was like krishna i did this just for a year and i did it because there is some desire of mine left